Welcome back to the channel guys and on today's video we finally got something installed that I've been needing for like the past months. As you guys know I kind of love eating in my car. And they just ignore that. And there's something that I've always needed inside the car that would keep my interior safe and protected. I just want to say a big thank you to Custom Interiors. They reached out and they asked me if I wanted a free set of covers, seat covers for my car. And they had a good amount of options where I decided why not get a pair and make a video about it. And so far I've had it for about a week now. And I really like the quality of it. I really like that you could get it a little bit dirty and it's easier to clean off compared to like the Alcantara that comes on the BRZs. Go ahead and show you guys how it looks once you install everything. It looks really nice and I think it complements the interior of this car really well. So let me go ahead and get out and show you guys. <laughs> I ended up cleaning the car and made sure everything was clean. It did get a little bit dirty, but this is the OEM seats. As you can tell, it has leather on the sides and then Alcantara on the middle along with the headrest as well. And I really like the design because it looks really good, especially with the red inserts. But I kind of want to change up the interior a little bit and add a little bit more of a pizzazz to it. The box was too big to fit inside the trunk. So I ended up just taking it out. All right, so we're going to be opening it up came in a really nice package. So the kit actually comes with pretty much everything from driver's seat, passenger seat, and rear seats. And it also comes with the headrest cover. And compared to other like seat covers, usually they don't look as detailed as these. And this basically gives you like an OEM finish. And just look at the little hexagon designs. It looks really good. And I like that they're straps, so it makes it really easy to install. So let's go ahead and install the passenger side really fast. It is a little bit of a tight squeeze, but I do like that it has a Velcro strap. And it just makes it a lot easier and secure uh, once you install it. So next up, it's going to be the back part. And I do like that it does have like the little cutouts. Also for the little um, thing that uh, you do to move the seat forward. And it also has a little pouch for whatever you want to put in there. It's all on. It's kind of got dark on me just because the hooks, I was having a little bit of issues with them. But what do you guys think? OEM versus the new one. I really like the whole hexagon design. And I do feel like it's going to be a little bit easier to clean. I like that it still has like the OEM stripe right here. Um, it's just black instead of red. Did notice that there is a little bit of an air gap right here, but maybe I just have to tighten it a little bit more. But other than that, the seat one's really good. It's really comfortable and it's like a good amount of padding that I'm not used to and it feels a lot better. Okay guys, so I'm gonna attempt to eat a Raisin Cane's chicken sandwich while driving 100 miles an hour, okay? So I got my sandwich right here. Right here's my sandwich, I'm done with my fries and I'm driving back home, but luckily I found a closed course. So don't do this on the public roads, but yeah. Let's attempt this. I just want to include this part. Even though you put these seat covers on, and you're probably wondering if they still work with the heated seat function, they actually do. Um, it takes a little bit longer. I'll say maybe a couple seconds more. It still warms up just as good. The seat cover's on, so anybody wondering. Fast forward a couple days, guys, and it's raining today. It's been raining the past two, three days, and I haven't had time to really go and film the rest of this video. I did have time on Sunday to go film, but it started to rain, so I was able to get this really cool shots of the car with my drone.
they came out really nice and I really liked how it came out. I'm getting a lot better with the drone shots now. And as far as the seat covers, guys, they look really good in person. And I really like how right now, since it's rainy, it's pretty heavy. Usually when I would like bring stuff in, I would be like wet, like my backpack or like myself. The Alcantara will kind of like scrape throughout like the seat. Then it'll get a little bit mushy and I would always feel like I was wearing it out quicker. Now that I have these seat covers, there's no issue with it. It gets wet and then it just cleans off right after. And then I can just wipe it off and then, you know, no harm. Overall, I'm really liking the seat covers and it really kind of brightens up the interior with a whole different look compared to like the OEM styling. So once again, thank you Custom Interiors for sending this out. If you guys want to get some, I'll put it right here and I'll also include a link in the description. spinning out the other day i was leaving the parking lot and like literally barely was going like four or five miles an hour and i was turning and the whole back end just kicked out it was a little nervous it was a little nerve-wracking because there was like a lot of traffic around that time right now i'm heading to work and do i want to go to work guys honestly i really don't it's i've i really don't with this weather i don't really like driving in it and i also just like being at home when it's when it comes to this type of weather just watching some tv drinking some hot cocoa and eating some good food but i gotta pay for these future plans somehow so i gotta go to work pulling up right now let's see is anybody at work yet oh no i'm the first one like always all right actually gonna park uh where should I park yeah I'll park where I always park I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been watching these videos and that have subscribed to the channel and just showing all the support this year we just passed like more than half a million views and I'm really thankful we're approaching close to 3,000 subscribers. And honestly, guys, this is pretty crazy. I never thought a lot of people would really be watching my videos. And on top of that, um, I just feel like honored that you guys are supporting me like this. I know it's still not a huge channel compared to like other channels, but I do want to grow this channel into something that's more of like a community and we can all share like our stories. There's a lot of other YouTube channels I subscribe to that aren't car related, like Yes Theory. I like how those channels incorporate other stuff besides their niche. And I really want to incorporate it into this channel where it's a lot of like car related stuff, but it doesn't have to necessarily just be about the BRZ or just like modding cars. I kind of want to incorporate more about, oh look, a type R. I, I kind of want to incorporate more about like just overall other car stuff and like just maybe like start making some shorts about like car history and stuff like that that probably people didn't really know about so let me know if you guys would find that interesting comment that down below other than that guys thanks for watching this video let me know what you guys think about the seat covers and i have a couple other mods that i have just kind of sitting in the boxes just because i haven't had the time to really install them so i'm gonna show you guys a little teaser for the next mod that i'm gonna be installing i just gotta film it but with this weather it makes it a lot more difficult to really install stuff outside in the parking lot as always guys hit that subscribe button and thank you guys for the support and if i don't upload in time merry christmas which i will upload i promise you guys for watching good vibes peace